Can a bank force a realtor to cut his commission on a short sale? One of the first things you're likely to hear from a bank rep who's reviewing a short sale package is, you're gonna have to cut your commission or your fee. Nothing could be further from the truth. But you should expect to hear something like that from a professional negotiator who's trained to use scare tactics to try to minimize the bank's losses. Now, as of March 1st, 2009, Fannie Mae Loan Services cannot force a broker to reduce his commissions below 6% as a condition for a short sale approval. Now, despite this recent change, which many banks often ignore anyway, banks have no authority to alter the terms of a listing agreement, which is a binding legal contract. So nobody can cut a realtor's commission. No. But they have lots of reasons to try to scare or intimidate a realtor into cutting it voluntarily themselves. Here are some of the phony reasons and rationales that bank reps often use to try to intimidate agents into lowering their commission. Here's one. Our investor guidelines only allow us to pay X percent. Investor guidelines have no bearing on the legal listing contract that a broker signs with a seller. None whatsoever. So they can't lower your commission. But again, they can try to intimidate you into lowering it. Here's another one. We're not gonna pay for that, or our investor's not gonna pay for that. The reality is that in a short sale, the seller's lender doesn't pay for anything. They actually get a check when the property closes. The buyer or the buyer's bank or lender pays for everything. And here's one that I've been hearing more recently, which is, well, if you're not gonna lower your commission, then the seller's just gonna have to get another agent. Now, it's up to the seller, not the seller's lender, what agent they're gonna choose to represent them. So if a bank rep says that to you, turn the conversation around on them and say, are you suggesting that the seller break the legally binding listing contract that they signed? They usually back off real quick when you say that. The big problem is this. Real estate is a people business and realtors are accustomed to trying to make everybody happy which is why they're often too quick to lower their commission. And banks know this and they exploit this to their advantage. So what you need to do is calmly state that under no circumstances are you willing to reduce your commissions. And banks will normally give in. And if they don't, then you can say, well, you're welcome to continue paying the taxes and the insurance on the property for a few months, or you can get this bad mortgage loan off your books by honoring the terms of the listing agreement. Why should you agree to get paid less for doing more work? Why should you reduce your commission for doing more work? It doesn't make any sense. Plus, as soon as you start reducing your commission, the bank is likely to ask you for additional concessions later on. So if they know that they can take advantage of you, they will take advantage of you. So take a stand at the beginning of the negotiation. As long as you have a good working relationship with your client, you're gonna be fine. And in most cases, banks miraculously become more cooperative and less likely to try to cut commission the closer a property gets to a foreclosure sale. So stand your ground 
and get paid the amount that you are contractually owed and that you have earned. For more useful tips on short sales, visit performanceshortsale.com. This is Gerald Lucas, the Short Sale Authority, signing off. Until next time.